You know, I've come a long way since White Boy Summer. My life is a lot different now. Rude boy, it's a White Boy Summer. Chet Hanks says he's come a long way in the 10 months since his White Boy Summer music video. And he's explaining it all in a new YouTube video for his channel called The Truth About Growing Up As A Hanks. That would be the son of Tom Hanks and Rita Wilson. I love my parents. I wouldn't want any different parents. And I wouldn't want any different life. So, and I'm very grateful and blessed for all of that. Chet recognizes that he's lived a privileged life, but he makes the distinction that he wasn't spoiled growing up. If I needed money to like go out and have fun with my friends, my dad would be like, okay, you want some money? Go wash my car. I'll give you 60 bucks. You know, everything was earned. And I'm grateful for that. 60 bucks to wash a car? That's a damn good rate. I would take that. <laughs> but no, I do appreciate that Tom made him work for any money earned. But Chet says that being the son of one of the public's most beloved figures made people approach him in a very unique way. People were just f***ing jealous of me. And they were projecting their own insecurities onto me. I needed to hear that as a kid. I didn't have like a, a strong male role model to tell me that. Yeah, it's too bad that you didn't have anyone in your life that would understand fame and people's expectations that came with that. Anyways, Chet says that he started to believe people when they said that he wasn't worthy of his family name. And I did feel worthless. I did feel like I didn't deserve to be in my position. I didn't feel like I would ever amount to anything. But now Chet says at 31, he's taking a new approach to his life. I no longer have gone down that self-destructive road of dealing with my anger and my resentment by self-destructing, by pleasure-seeking through partying, drugs, alcohol, substances. And it's led him to start a new business venture. Now I'm just focusing on doing the work and being the best me that I can be. That's the reason why I started Hank's Fit, this program. And that's where you kind of lose me, Chet. I mean, I have a lot of sympathy for Chet. I mean, I know this is definitely champagne problems. This is white people problems. This is first world problems. No, it's way beyond that. It's champagne problems. Cause I mean, this is a very unique circumstance to be the son of literally one of the most beloved public figures in the world. Um, so yeah, I do have sympathy for him. And I get what he's saying that people would come at him in a certain way. And he developed a certain a chip on his shoulder because people had expectations about him and he wasn't living up to those expectations. But how could you live up to those expectations of Tom Hanks? But yeah, now you're using it as a marketing tool to start your uh, fitness program or your fitness company. So that's where you kind of lose me. It doesn't strike me as that genuine when you're not just doing this video just, you know, to finally share your story. You're doing it as a marketing tool to promote your company. And once again, you're using your dad's fame to promote that company. Yeah, what do you think of Chet's video? His 13 minute video of, yeah, talking about what life has been being Tom Hanks and Rita Wilson's son.